Hey everybody, this is Joanne, and um, maybe you are aware that Carl Sagan was a very big believer in educating the public um, towards science, because he believed that believing in pseudoscience, in the supernatural, believing the fallacies of witchcraft and faith healings and things like that, actually impeded a society from becoming technologically advanced. So he wrote a book called The Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark, to talk about why science education is so important in um, counteracting su supernatural beliefs. Well, maybe you weren't aware that supernatural beliefs are actually uh, something quite ingrained within our brains. This irrational belief tendency is there from the very beginning. And this is the topic of today's book written by Dr. Bruce M. Hood called Supersense, Why We Believe in the Unbelievable. This book is written from a cognitive psychology perspective, so we're not going to be talking about MRIs or which genes are turned on and off in the process of believing in the supernatural. What this book discusses is the fact that we do see this tendency for supernatural belief very, very early on. And basically, that children are generating knowledge through their own uh, intuitive experiences, uh, about the world and they form beliefs that can be natural or supernatural. So the support, uh, the beliefs of the people around them can help influence uh, whether supernatural beliefs take hold or not. So it seems that education is indeed the key, like Carl Sagan said, to creating people who are more likely to think rationally rather than in the irrational beliefs of the supernatural. Now, everybody has a tendency to believe something supernatural. And the number one reason that people believe in supernatural events and uh, concepts is through some personal experience. So maybe one day they wore red underwear to a game and their team won. Maybe they did it a second time and they won again. And maybe this just reinforced the fact that if they wear red underwear, why, this is going to be exactly what they need to do. So they've come up with some interesting ritual. People also tend to believe that objects can be infused with the essence of a person. And Bruce Hood does uh, do uh, his famous uh, demonstration and discussion about wearing a cardigan that supposedly belonged to a killer and asking people, would you wear it? And most of us would be uneasy about that because we have some sense like, well, maybe it's evil too. So um, the, the great thing about this book is not only does it discuss the science, the cognitive psychology science, the experiments that have been conducted to demonstrate our natural tendency towards believing in the supernatural, um, but it's done in such a very lovely way, humorous, and um, with scenarios we can all relate to. I definitely enjoyed this book. I enjoyed reading about the various kinds of experiments that are done to do this. and. Um, and to understand that, you know, we shouldn't be, uh, science, the science community shouldn't be so angry at people for having a tendency towards supernatural beliefs because we do have that tendency, but that doesn't mean that this is the kind of thinking that's going to help move us forward in society, as Carl Sagan says. I do highly recommend the book uh, because it is quite enjoyable. Super Sense by Bruce M. Hood. Understand why we have a tendency to believe in the unbelievable. All right, thanks.